All right, so look. Oh, oh. Hey. Hey. Well, I'm very confused. What? Wait. Who is this? Wait, you're not the guy we thought we were gonna talk to. I'm confused. Just to be clear, you're Darius. Yes, sir. Wow. Hey, Cammy and Eve. I'm Victoria, 24 years old, and from Austin, Texas. I've been in a relationship with a guy named Anthony since I was 16. I know what you're thinking, but he's really great. He's 29, a model, and lives in Los Angeles. He was my first online friend and boyfriend. He's seen me grow up and has helped me through all my first. He's been there for me all these years. We talk a lot. He's everything I want in a guy. He's funny, he has his stuff together, and he's fine as hell. Her. But in the eight years I've known him, we have never had a FaceTime or even a phone conversation. And recently, when I pressed him on it, we got into a fight and he blocked me. I'm fed up, but I still care about him. I hold every guy to the Anthony standard and I can't move on until I get some answers. Please help. Victoria. Take us back and tell us, yeah. tell us the whole... The so taking yeah. it all the way back, I was 16, I was still in high school. He randomly added me on Snapchat. From there, we just started talking. And are you sending photos to each other? He sent me one picture. Um, on Snapchat? On Snapchat. And then he was like, send me pics back. Like, so it just kind of turned into me sending pictures back and then him talking to me in a romantic way. Never messaged him on Instagram. Did he have an Instagram or? Yeah, I found it by myself. When you first were talking? Mm-hmm. And how do you know it was his Instagram? Well, it was his first and last name. And did you follow his Instagram? Mm -mm. I was like, you're not following me. I'm not gonna follow you. So still talking to him when I'm 16, 17. But when I was 18, I got my first real life boyfriend. Mm. That was a problem. Cussed me out, so I just blocked him. Blocked his number? Well, on the Snapchat. Oh, still only on Snapchat. Mm -hmm. So you never had his phone number? Not until I turned 21. The Snapchat, was his Snapchat his full name? No, it was master. And his Instagram was master too? No, oh. so I knew his first and last name because he <laughs> gave it to me. Anthony Faust. So I got my boyfriend 18 and then my relationship lasted until I was 21. And that's when he came back. So you guys start talking. Mm-hmm. You get his number. Yeah, and then his number since then has changed every year. His number has changed every year? Yes. Does he ever say why? Mm-mm. And <laughs> do you text him on these numbers? Yeah. But you never talk. Mm -mm. So what's happened in the last few years then? It's progressed into us kind of like risque talking and risque photos. Mm -hmm. But also he's there for me when I need him. Like he was there when I got my first apartment. He was there when I got my first car, my first like grown up job, like all those firsts. It's, it's nice to have somebody like that. Yeah, and also he has it together. Like he has a job, he's always traveling, like things like that I'm looking for. So you believe Anthony is exactly what he says? Yeah, I trust him with my feelings. Why do you trust him? What could he possibly be lying about? Well, for starters, what he looks like. Not because otherwise, why wouldn't he get on a quick FaceTime or send you a video? He's a model. Well, models have bad days. Yeah, but not bad eight years. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi there. I'm Neve. Ashanti. Ashanti. Hi. So, come on out. Hi. Do you know, hey, this person? Yes. Okay. It's Kaya's girlfriend. Yes. Oh, oh okay. Is Kaya here? She's not here right now. Does, but Kaya knows, well, does Kaya know we're here? No. Do you know why we're here? I'm Anthony. But wait, wait, how's that even possible? Because she's been talking to Anthony for eight years. Yeah. That hasn't um, been you the whole time. It has been. How? 
I found your Snapchat on one of my friends' Snapchat. He tagged you in a post, and I added you from there. Eight years ago? Yeah. So just a total random coincidence, a friend of yours posted about her Snapchat, you saw it, and added her. Yeah. As Anthony. Yeah. How then is it possible that eight, six years later you would meet her childhood best friend and end up going out with her? She posted Kaya on her Snapchat, and that's how I met Kaya. Wow. <laughs> okay, so you met Kaya because you had been catfishing her as Anthony. Yeah. So Kaya doesn't know that you've weirdly been in a relationship with her best friend longer than you've been dating her, and that you've still been talking to Victoria even while you've been in a relationship with Kaya. No, she doesn't know. <gasps> oh my God. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Tell us about this guy. So I have this online persona called Zachary, and Zachary is my overly gay persona that I created because I ended up in some drama amongst some Facebook friends that felt I was being too over the top. So I created a separate account that I could kind of be how I wanted to be. Pretty soon, I was getting 40 to 60 friend requests a day wow. from people, mostly gay guys. They would be sending me messages and dick pics. I was like, oh, thank you, I'm so flattered, but no. So finally one day, Garrett made a comment on my Facebook and I thought he was the cutest boy I'd seen. He was not like everybody else. He didn't message me. We just kind of communicated through comments here and there. And, and so finally one day I decided I was gonna message him and I was like, hey, I just thought I'd stop by and say, hey, I think you're kind of cute. We started talking more frequently. Like I've opened up to him. I've told him hopes and dreams and fears and he seems like he genuinely cares for me. But then things got weird. He got a new phone number and just kind of forgot to tell me that he got a new phone number. He like changed jobs that I didn't know anything about. And when we Skype, it's usually at night. So I just can see like the silhouette of a face. Oh my Come God. Come on, Zach. Why do you think you're so kind of interested? Why, what is it about him? I can't explain it. He just has this air of trust around him. Like I trust him with everything. So we went to his Facebook page. As you know, it's down. Mm -hmm. So that is concerning. That and is. obviously has something to do with the fact that you alerted to him to the fact that you're with us and that we're trying to figure this out. So I guess some alarm bells went off for him. But why take down the page? I mean, unless you've got something to hide. So we went and reverse searched both of the phone numbers. Owner name not available. So this is unknown. So then we just did a, a general Google search for Garrett Hartman. And we got a hit. It was a track and field report. High school. So it could be that he's perhaps even a little bit younger. So then, interestingly, when we do a search for his Facebook URL, a bunch of pictures come up. So this is picking up that it's like his profile pics, but we can't get to it, obviously, because it's down. But the pics sort of still up in some weird internet black hole. And this was interesting. We were like, okay, who is this? So we went and reverse searched this picture and found his Facebook page, Alexander. That could be a friend. So we messaged him. Mm -hmm. And I basically just said, are you friends with a guy named Garrett? And he said, Garrett? You mean Gary? And I sent him this picture. And he said, we do drag together. What's this all about? And then he said, he's a great friend. His name is Gary Michael. You should ask him, not me, for more info. But then there's this page, Gary Michael. Have you ever seen this page before? No. Different name. I, I haven't even seen that picture before. Well, look at this. Girl named Katie is tagged. Clearly like a good friend of his. Does that name ring any bells? No. So we ended up talking to Katie. Okay. And she confirmed that this is the profile that he uses. 
Now, why haven't you seen this profile? Especially when I was honest and upfront about everything. Right. And then we asked her if he's ever mentioned talking to a guy named Zach. And she kind of laughed and said, well, if he was talking to someone, I would know. And I've never heard him mention okay. anyone like that. Is he just going to ghost us? This is kind of what he does to me. Should we call Katie? Oh, yeah. And see. Yeah, sure. Hello? Hey, Katie, it's Neve. Hey. Quick question, uh, and, and up. Hello? Uh, oh, I'll oh, call you, wait, I'll call you right back. Okay. Who is it? Is that him? Did he just come on his own? Is that what's happening right now? Oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> what? Right. It's you, like, this is actually you. Well, come on in. We didn't know if he'd made it or not. I landed, and then I had the address, so I so just kind of jumped in a cab. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Well, Max, Neve, Zach. Hi. We were concerned, because uh, we hadn't necessarily heard that you landed. Anyway, doesn't matter. You're here. OK. <laughs> so what's the deal? Yeah. You, you seem exactly as you promised. Uh, we're confused. Why didn't you FaceTime him? This is the whole mystery. There's a, there's a lot that goes into that. This guy I was really into lived in Georgia. We did sort of an online, long-distance relationship. We were together for about almost two years. I flew him back to Wichita. We stayed with me. Everything was cool. And then uh, he gets a call at 3 in the morning, basically, from this guy he was dating. And uh, I kind of flipped out. So your ex-boyfriend had fallen in love with someone in Georgia. What was up with this whole thing with him hacking your profile? He got really angry and then basically hacked my Facebook account. So I'm kind of hesitant to the whole long distance online relationship. Sure, but but the whole shroud of mystery and the, the double profile and not telling him about your other profile. The other profile's sort of irrelevant, the Gary one. Right. That's how my family and close friends used to address me. I made that profile as something I could use to hide this part of my life from my family. So you created a second, more generic friends and family page. Just yeah. like Zach. So you guys. quiet. <laughs> I grew up in a very small Catholic town. What were you so worried that Zach would be disappointed about? I just kind of felt that I didn't want to let you down. That's why I didn't basically show myself the whole FaceTime thing, because I was still like trying to keep my guard up. And I was kind of hesitant, because you also had two Facebook profiles. We spoke to Katie. My best friend. Your yeah. best friend. Have you ever told her about Zach? I, uh, we talked briefly about him. So when Neve talked to her yesterday, why did she say she didn't? know anything about me. Because she doesn't really know anything about you. She knows your name. She knows what you look like. She was cautious not to yes. sort of. She texted me afterwards, and she was like, hey, so this just happened. I was like, vague, but honest. Right. I was like, OK. Why'd you take your Facebook account and Instagram account down yesterday? I, I got the call, and I was terrified. And I, I freaked out. So hold on a second. So there's no big. Yeah, what's, crazy the big, what's the big deal? thing that you've been hiding? It's basically, I just didn't want to be vulnerable to another person. Falling for someone online and being vulnerable to them, kind of, it's kind of nerve wracking. It's time for the truth. Sometimes Dear Neve and Cam, my name is Mildred. I'm 23, I live in South Carolina, and I think you guys are my last best hope. That sounds very dark. <laughs> Six years ago, I was catfished by a guy named KJ. KJ had a good heart, and he has been there for me during the times that I've needed him, but he lied a lot. He actually admitted that his pictures weren't real, so I broke things off with him. He disappeared for two years. Then, this past January, we started talking regularly again. When the lights go down. He was saying he loved me and getting upset when I wouldn't say it back. But I knew I couldn't trust him. But then, in June, I got a message from this girl named India. 
because she was trying to figure out if KJ was a catfish. Indy and I started working together to try to figure out who exactly we'd been talking to. I'm not interested in dating KJ, but he is important to me, and I've come too close to finding the truth to stop now. All right, so here's what's up. We're pretty sure we know who you guys have been talking to, and it's a, it's a unexpected, Oof. sort of strange reality. You kind scaring of, me. Tell, tell us what you think. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I don't want to scare you, but we've got some something we think you should know. So hold on, let me let me bring up. Oh my god! Oh my god! My heart is beating so fast. Yeah, I'm saying. All right, here we go. Okay, so this is hmm. KJ's current profile, and I don't, I, India. I'm sure you noticed that he more recently posted a picture of you. Yeah. Did you guys talk about that? So when he posted it, we were still talking, like everything was fine. So I knew he posted it, but I didn't know it was still up there. Right. So we already know that the guy in these pictures is Jose Guapo, mm -hmm. right? You guys figured that out, right? right? Which was nice for us. You saved us a step. So we thought, okay, let's run the phone number. It came back to this name, Darius in Brookhaven, Mississippi. So we thought, okay, we gotta figure out who this guy is. What, who is this person? Mm -hmm. So we did some searching, and the name Darius is sort of, you know, it's unique enough that when we've searched it, you're not gonna believe this. We found, I think, 16 profiles. Wow. For the same guy. Versions of the same life, mostly in Mississippi. Oh um, we clicked on a few of them, and this one was the one that sort of seemed to be the most active. So this is Darius and his name and, and apparently this page comes back connected to the phone number you guys have been texting and talking to. Darius is 18 years old, fresh out of high school. Got the blood on your hands, got a knife in the heart. Oh my God. So he's 18 right now? He is 18 right now. Oh no. Yeah, my lips are sealed. I'm gonna take it to the grave. Oh my God. Which means that, Mildred, when you were 16 talking to him, he was 12. Wow. Don't tell anyone. I'm just in shock mode right now. I'm trying to put everything together in my head. All right, so look. Oh, oh. Hey. Hey. Well, I'm very confused. What? Wait. Who is this? Wait, you're not the guy we thought we were gonna talk to. I'm confused. Just to be clear, you're Darius. Yes, sir. Wow. And you're the one who's been talking to both of the women here on the, the Zoom. Yes. Okay. So we wanna just clear this up because we're a little confused. We're gonna show you our screen. Are these your profiles? Do you know who that is? No. Okay, so there's just a kid named Darius who lives in Mississippi who happens to have a lot of weird profiles, but that's not you. Yes. Got it. Okay, so because that really got confused because when we looked that name up, we found like 16 profiles for this kid who's 18. So we were all wrong. Yeah. Can you just tell, give us a little background information on you? Because we're, we're- Perplexed. We, yeah. All right. My name's Darius, and I'm 25. I stay in Mississippi. Okay, so you are in Mississippi. What are you doing in Mississippi? Scamming? No, I made that up. So you don't scam? No. And how long have you had a fake profile? Was it before Mildred? Um, It was like when I had met her around that time. There were other girls that you talked to, right? Um, no. Did he come on here to tell the truth? I am. What about the girls I saw with my own eyes? You talked to multiple girls, and I'm not making it seem like it's just us. I mean, I was, but it wasn't like, like... a lot. Yeah, it wasn't like that. A lot. Yeah. So, yeah, no. Wow, my heart is, like, beating so fast right now. 